Welcome to US Secret Reports channel. Conflicts in the east of Europe and fears of possible invasion have gripped the whole of Europe. The crisis between the USA and Russia became more and more difficult with the involvement of all the countries in the North Atlantic Alliance one by one. While the east of Ukraine is now fully equipped with the heavy weapons and thousands of soldiers of the Russian army, the west is equipped with the weapons and soldiers of the North Atlantic Alliance. The clash of these two great powers may herald a very bloody conflict. Today, the Russian Ministry of Defense reported that it has deployed a massive army, weapons and personnel to Belarus. Many European diplomats, senior defense officials and heads of state agreed that this move by Russia is a big step for the invasion of Ukraine. It is also clear that Belarus will change the balances in the region due to its strategic location. It is known that at least two S-400 air defense system divisions and 12 Su-35 warplanes, Pantsir S air defense missile system, Pantsir C-1 complexes, as well as numerous personnel and military ammunition are deployed. At the same time, the S-400 air defense systems deployed in Belarus have a very serious airspace dominance. Together with Russia's S-400 air defense systems, it will also prevent attacks from many alliance countries in Europe. Russia, with the support of Murmansk BN and KRASUKHA-4 electronic warfare system complexes, thinks that it will gain superiority against all electronic infrastructure air and land systems, including the F-35s, by using the S-400s. On the other hand, the Baltic states are in great anxiety and have put their armies on red alert. The mobility of Sweden and Norway in the region is much higher than other countries. Countries that strengthen their military presence in the region upon the clear threat of the Russians, go to large military structures upon the threat they may receive in case of possible war. Looking at the operations of the Russian army and the situation in the region, it seems that Russia's first move in the region will not be only on Ukraine. Military movements in Belarus, the Baltic region and the Black Sea are very worrying. After Russia's deployment in Belarus, the North Atlantic Alliance countries sent military aid to Ukraine, but Russia seems to never back down in the face of the alliance's tough stance. 